Hi. And uh, goodbye Utrecht. Uh, on February 1st, which is about to be, I'm going to move out to a dorm room in Eindhoven. Yes, I've already found something. I've been through a bit of a um, observation and it succeeded be even though this was the first one. And uh, I found my room through this website over here, Cameranet, a pretty popular uh, student housing platform um, where you can find in almost any city in the Netherlands, um, rooms, apartments and studios. Uh, they also do some anti-squatting uh, residence for those who really need that. Uh, you can set a maximum rent, a minimum size in square meters. Sorry for you imperial folks. And the city in which you want to look. So I'm going to do mine and then the radius. So let's see what happens if we look through a room in Eindhoven. Uh, I haven't set any maximum rent or minimum. Oh, the minimum is six square meters. Now we can set the rent price, for example, to 500 euro max. So that's a great budgeting tool. Though the rent may increase every year by the amount given by law. And then we have our minimum uh, size. So I set it to a minimum of 10. And then you can set here different other kinds of filters like bare uncounted room, unfurnished or completely furnished. If you want a private bathroom, toilet, kitchen, definitely click the internet available though so you make sure that you can actually study in the room which requires a constant internet connection. You can set for permanent or temporary residence, uh, your status. I wouldn't really recommend entering in these, the gender, age and status. Um, but if you are a smoker or have some pets to move with you, you can select that here. Uh, or if you prefer a male, female or like I would prefer a mixed uh, num uh, gender of the roommates. So in my uh, dormitory there are eight roommates and they are of mixed gender, both the boys and the girls. and. Once you're done, there's your room. It's just an example, I'm not really reacting to anything. Um, here you can see the description. It's mostly in Dutch, so I would recommend having some kind of translation program going on. And it also shows you the rent and the deposit sometimes, or additional costs or service fee. That depends. And it shows how many roommates there are. In this one, there are five of mixed gender. And then comes the only part of this process I don't want to show you at all and that is what happens when you find a room. You contact the landlord and you send a short and simple message to them so they know who you are and what you're interested in. And then the landlord can react to that or they can decide not to react to that at all. Uh, I had one room that I reacted to first but the landlord or a fellow tenant, typically it's fellow tenants who uh, arrange, but they don't react because they don't think that I'm worth it for their room or something like that. Sometimes people can be just weird. Uh, that's especially why it's important to have a little profile that tells you uh, who you are and what you're looking for, what you're interested in. And then of course comes the process of looking through the rent contract, which again I'm not going to show to you because that's A, part of the contacting and contains personal detail, and B, is vastly different from room to room. Just, maybe you can also discuss that with your parents if you're still with them. And then, once that is signed, it typically says the date on which it applies. And once that date passes, it is time to move out. I'm going to do a vlog about that uh, again. And after that, it might be a bit of a long amount of time before I'm going to upload a video game because I'm going to move in two steps. First is the essentials for sleeping, for eating, for studying and in the second phase I'm going to bring with me uh, some other things like my main computer and my 
of our equipment and some decoration to make it a truly personal space. Oh, and about the Great Art University, they were, I think, all right. Um, I've had a six for my last intermediate test, and uh, I think I'm able to get through the exam for this quartile. Um, just say no. Our uh, year is divided into four quartiles, of which I'm in the second and about to enter the third. But that's going to be the first quartile, I hope, in my new dormitory. You know that would be really exciting, and I don't know what it would be like if I uh, get there for the first night to sleep. So I hope to see you next time. Bye bye! I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you do, please give a thumbs up and share this video with all your friends and perhaps consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you and I'll see you next time.